And hello, everyone. Once again, we're talking about voter rolls, not a really popular topic among many people, but I have an expert here that has done some research into this and her organization. Uh, want to introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, I'm Lauren Biss. Um, I'm the Director of Communications for the Public Interest Legal Foundation. We're a nonprofit law firm that's dedicated exclusively to election integrity. Um, and you can learn more about us at our website. Okay, and I will link that in there so people can learn as well. We are in Michigan right here. And like other states, probably, there's an issue with voter rolls. And the average person doesn't understand how they can't be updated. But I interviewed a woman who has been out of the state of Michigan for 20 years. She continues to get absentee ballot applications. Um, there's people I know who have had loved ones pass away five, 10 years ago who are still getting absentee applications. What's going on? Is is this a problem you're seeing across the country? Yes, it is. And, um, you know, especially in states like Nevada that do automatic vote by mail, where they automatically send a ballot to every active registered voter mm. on their voter roll. And um, we have a video at Public Interest Legal where we went to some of these addresses and their abandoned mines and uh, hip shops and stuff. You would be surprised. Um you know, and in Michigan, in fact, we're suing the Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson, there um, for failing to remove deceased registrants. Um, and we found some people that have been dead since the, the 90s and they still remain on the voter roll. Um, so we've been suing her because under federal law, you are required to make a reasonable effort to remove deceased individuals. I, I read about that. And I would assume why would is it that hard to fix? Is it that hard to fix the voter rolls? Because there's a lot of money that goes into the Secretary of State and the programs to fix it. I would assume it's not that hard, but maybe I'm misspeaking. No, look, especially in this case in Michigan, we have provided her, the Public Interest Legal Foundation, with a list of our research that we identified these people and said, look, they appear to be deceased. You need to look into these. Here's the method methodology we used. Mm -hmm. Um, look into this and take action. And, you know, Jocelyn Benson just has not been taking the problem seriously. Um, in fact, her office made a statement about our organization saying that we're trying to undermine democracy and things like that. But, you know, in fact, we just want clean, accurate voter rolls because they're the most essential election document. I mean, we're talking about ballots being sent to people, applications. It tells election officials who's eligible to vote. We need to make a reasonable effort in all 50 states to have as clean and accurate voter rolls as we can. Yeah, and we're not saying, or I'm not saying that every one of those deceased individuals voted. We're saying we want the best system possible because why would anyone want a deceased person on the voter roll? It, ju it just wouldn't, it doesn't make sense. Right, and every error and mistake on the voter rolls is an opportunity for fraud or abuse. Um, it can be used, and we want people to have confidence in our elections and how they're being run. And the best way to give all Americans confidence is to have accurate voter rolls. So, you know, you're not receiving an application for your deceased mother at your house. You know, you start to wonder, oh, how many other people are receiving this? Well, how easy would it be to send? We don't want any of that kind of doubt in our elections. Um, and it's an easy fix. Let's do the research. Let's remove when we know people have passed away. And um, we're really hoping um, that Jocelyn Benson will take action and remove these over 20,000 deceased registrants on Michigan's voter rolls. That's a lot of people. Is there in, if you know this, are you said, are there federal laws, federal or state that mandate that they be updated? There are. The federal law is called the National Voter Registration Act. Um, your listeners probably know it better as Motor Voter, signed by President Clinton. Um, and Section 8 of that law requires um, states to make a reasonable effort to remove deceased individuals and people who have moved away, update their addresses, and they've moved out of the state, take action to have them removed. Um, so there, there's federal laws here. Um, follow the law. That's like a basic, the rule of law in elections is, is basic. We have to have it. You know, in 2020, we saw a lot of laws suspended because of COVID. And just look at all the distrust that created. We need to get back to normal in 2024. Let's have a normal election that follows the rule of law. The American people know the results on election night and can have confidence in our system again. Yeah, the woman who reached out to me, I believe she lives Arizona or out west somewhere, and she said, "If if I keep getting this, what and it, that it, it it it's a trust issue. If you keep seeing deceased individuals or ballot um applications showing up, it makes people somewhat question the system." 
Right. Exactly. And, you know, that's just not what any of us want as, you know, whatever side of the aisle you're on far, right, far left center, you know, we all can agree that we want to have trust in our elections because if we don't have have, as a country be able to come together and trust that our leaders are being elected fairly, that's a, a real problem undermining our entire Republic and the American people deserve better than that. So if you as a private organization, you were able to go in and find in Michigan deceased people who are on the voters roll, then it should obviously not be a problem for Michigan. They have the information. You were an outside group going in, you gave it to them. So it shouldn't be a problem to have to be able to clean it up for them. Right, and we gave this this information to them in 2020. It's 2023 now, it's been three years. Like, let's take action, let's come together. You know, Michiganders want their voter rolls clean, just like I was saying everyone does. So let's take action. This isn't partisan. This isn't, you know, a a confused area. Take action. Look at these people and, you know, remove the ones that are deceased. Where does that case stand now? And I'll reach out to her office. She may not write back to me, but I'll give it a shot. Where does it stand now? Do we know? Yeah, we um, are all in the the stage of currently firing. uh, Sorry filing motions for summary judgment. Um, um, so it's up. it'll be up to the judge then to review that and see what the next process in the case is. Um, but um, we're making progress um, has 2023 comes to a, an end here. Is that a federal case or is it a state? It is. It's a federal case. Okay. Since gotcha. it's a federal yeah. law, we brought it in federal court. And, and you would think, like you said, whether you're on the right or the left, no matter who you are, because a lot of those dece- it doesn't matter. You should just want a clean voter roll. This is not a political issue, even though someone may brand me as a certain political way or your organization, but you're not. You just want the way things are supposed to be. That's it. Right. Yeah. We're a nonpartisan, nonprofit law firm. Yep. You know, election law is all we do. You know, so we do research, try to educate the public, and then bring lawsuits against election officials like Jocelyn Benson who aren't following federal law. Yeah. Last question. What can the public do? You are doing a lot of work, but can the average person sitting at home do anything to help spur change here in Michigan or Ohio or whatever other state? What can the average person do? Right. Um, you know, I would say get involved, um, you know, make sure that, you know, your address and your voter registration is all mm. up to date and correct. Um, you would be surprised. You might find that your address is wrong and maybe your ballot applications are going to an address you lived at two or three years ago. Um, so you can do that, um, you know, get involved with um, uh, our group, the Public Interest Legal Foundation. Feel free to go to our website, educate yourself, learn more, um, see what's going on in your state. You know, some states like Florida are really on top of the game when it comes to election integrity. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, some states are just lagging behind and maybe your legislators need a little push on things that you guys want to see, like clean voter rolls and things like that. For example, my my mother passed away two years ago. She lived in Wayne Wayne County, Michigan, which is a whole other issue, Wayne County. Um, but can I can I check myself if she's off the voter rolls? Can can the average person go and check that? Um, you should be able to. Yeah, the voter rolls are a public document. So okay. um, under the National Voter Registration Act, um, the public has a right to inspect voter rolls. Gotcha. So- Well, I learned a lot just from this little time, and I'm going to be putting this out there. Um, Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. Okay, I'm going to cut that up, and I'll put that. I'll send you the link. Uh, It airs on Thursday, and I'm going to send – when I was a reporter, I was a reporter in Flint, Michigan – Um, I was banned from interviewing Governor Whitmer. She did not like some of my tough questions at (laughs) times. So I'm assuming Jocelyn Benson won't write back, but I'll I'll be fair. I'll ask her, and I'm sure she will. She wants to be governor next, I think. She's going to be running, probably. So. Oh, we'll I would not be surprised. She definitely this... has her eyes set on something, I think, a little higher. Um, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she cares more about... She's on MSNBC every other day. So the kind of the right. joke here is she cares more about getting her face out there than caring about Michigan. So. Right. Well, yeah. thanks for having me on and um, giving some more attention to the case. Absolutely. And I'll put a link to your group, your website. I'll put it up. I'll, all the videos I do, I'll put a link there. Perfect. I'll be on the lookout for it. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye.